Uh, I, I'm, I'm always excited about uh, the site, going to the site. And stepping to the site uh, is actually a strange thing. It will tell you uh, the story of the site. It will tell you the context, the surrounding, the climate, uh, each and every aspect of the site. And, and, and you can learn from, you can listen to the site. And you fall in love with the site. And site also fall in love with you. Then, then is the creation starts coming out. Becoming an architect is a very interesting issue for me because I never wanted to be an architect. Uh, I always wanted to be a painter. I started my uh, projects, architectural projects, uh, in a painterly manner. I try to develop the marriage between architecture and painting, and uh, architecture becomes watercolor. The landscape of Dhaka has changed a lot. Uh, traffic congestion, uh, growth of population, uh, lack of uh, uh, jobs even in the villages. So all the you know pressure coming onto the cities. So t cities are becoming very cramped. Fortunately, um, uh, we realized, people of the country realized uh, that uh, uh, highly dense a country, a city needs definitely green for sustainability and architects are becoming activists uh, nowadays and you realize that architecture is not just uh, just a personal uh, expression of thing it's rather expression of a, of a society it's a social phenomena then i started thinking uh, uh, we have a responsibility a social responsibility and then we need to understand what type of architecture uh, we need to do uh, on a particular place. So if it is Bangladesh, then, then we have a history. So if I forget the history, then I'm disconnected. I'm rootless. I'll be, I'll be nowhere simply. Shatoto, architecture for green living. We work with, uh, with the natural ventilation, we work with the flow of water, we work with the vegetation, planting, to reduce the consumption of power, the electricity, to reduce the carbon footprint. For Bangladesh, material selection is one big issue because when we do select material, we need to think about uh, the availability of the material, whether it's contextual or not. And then we have our very critical climate and we have an earthquake zone and we have a huge population and a small land. So considering all the aspects, uh, I love to use two basic material mostly. One is uh, concrete and brick. Uh, this true material has a lot of connection with the history, with the sociology. So I love to use these two material uh, to, to achieve those goals uh, in terms of climatology, in terms of uh, earthquake resistance, in, in terms of making even higher blocks, higher buildings in a small land. Why we do architecture? To me, is always the center is the human being. We do everything for the people. I quoted the, the example of Van Gogh. This person, even all the pain having inside, he wrote, there is nothing more artistic than to love people. So to me, this is a this is amazing sentence. So every every professional Professions, ultimate goal is to serve the people. This is how I think that we need to do architecture for the people.